Steven, can you please tell me something to draw? I want to draw, but don't have anything in mind. All right, bloody one. Here's my draw. I freaking needed a racer. Teach me something, Samoth. Grow my art power. Make me stronger. My New Year's resolution is to draw more? The f You're in the wrong place, dog. We draw less here. Steven, are you using cheats again? Always. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to let the whole thing run because I want to keep drawing. <laughs> Don't say the name of the course or its cinematic cutscene starts. Good. I've got you all on your toes, man. Now you're all worried. I like that. Steven, what should I draw? Um, it's a raccoon, but also a Lamborghini Ooh. Diablo. What? But also it's made out of forest material, not tree bark, not leaves. It's made out of an entire forest like an entire Amazon rainforest. So it's a raccoon that is a Lamborghini Diablo in the material of an entire Amazon rainforest. Full color. Bro. Yeah, if you're not into it, just take, just take Med's advice. Just draw a chair. <laughs> Tried to draw a chair and I got the urge to draw anime girls. So yeah, it worked. I think it should be clear that with all of my equanimity and my niceness that I just displayed, obviously the exception is if you like cute anime girls, that's just stupid. Certain things are so egregiously heinous that um, they're really not able to be discussed. And look, they're free to change their mind and have good taste whenever they're ready. Do you look at bodybuilders for reference sometimes? Yeah. Love looking at freaks. Gaze yay at my hair. I mean, I, I draw an absurd amount. A really absurd amount. An inadvisable amount. Come on, camera. Look into my eyes. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Yeah. Steven, do you have nightmares of your drawings? I wish. I would love to see one of these things in a in a capacity where it feels real. But um all attempts have failed. I've yet to draw a single goblin. What's wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you, man? Dude, what is wrong with you, man? The f fuck. I wish I'd never read that. The fuck. That's disgusting. Never drawn a single goblin? What the Get away from me. Get away from me and my family. Not one? God, geez. I'm gonna throw up. Hold on, I'm gonna... No, I'm all right. Okay, I'm all right. Uh, where my freaking drawings go? Got a couple studies I did the other day. I got a sphere down there. Someone was asking if I still do spheres and stuff like that. So that's from a photo, right? Just for fun, you know, we call them studies, but it's not a study. I'm just doing it because I... I tell you, man, at this point in my career, I'm not even explicitly doing this anymore to quote unquote, get better. It's just fun to do. I just love looking at this stuff and just like seeing light traversing surface, you know? There's another one. I think that was from the same day. Got a bunch of marker sketches here. These are from this morning, I think. Copic marker and pencil. Yanni Baker, favorite model. Great shapes on his body. Some faster sketches. I did these this morning with my morning coffee. Couple little figure sketches. There's another one. This one was fun. This one isn't from a photo. This one was just uh, drinking my morning coffee, messing around. That's just from imagination. But that was fun to do. Big transmogrified blowing up arm. All right, real quick, real quick tutorial. All right, so the problem that most people have with the Baximus Maximus is that they forget about the general shape. So it's like, if you're really focused on the Baxus Maximus, it has to read on the silhouette, like its overall shape has to be correct. So it's like you got the human head up here, say it's something like that, neck comes down. So we got one shoulder over there and then the Baximus Maximus edits the silhouette so that it's like, yeah, you know? And then it comes down here into the small of the back and then you get the Baximus Minimus more commonly known as the gluteal butts. 
And then you just gotta fit all of the other muscles into here. So this is the trapezoid, which interacts this way with the baximus maximus. This is the infrasplendugu. This is the terrasus majoris. This is the rhombidius. You gotta mirror them symmetrically on the other side, of course. The ladicinus dicni wraps around that way, sort of plunges to the forward side of the armpit. The erection pinae down here at the bottom. Sacral triangle. Gluteals. Wasp wasticus. And then the chickenus legacus. It's that simple. I mean, that's how you draw, baby. Now that's how you draw. Now that, that right there is how you draw, baby. I unknowingly took a piece of cake from the freezer, thought there was a gas leak, not feeling very good. What? How'd you even eat a cake? What? Ooh, look at that intense silhouette. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. The gluteus buttocus, baby, the baximus maximus. Ooh, 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 it sounds dirty, but you don't have to be like that, all right? And for the love of God, why is the starting point for monsters that they be skinny? Like if it's supposed to be threatening, if it's supposed to actually be strong, it's gonna be huge, you know? <laughs> if a, a monster that's a skeleton, it's like, it looks creepy, but how does it work? And does my monster have access to a, a full gym and P90X? Yeah, yeah, he does. He understands that abs are made in the kitchen. It's that simple. But he skips leg day. Why don't you be a little bit more sophisticated? All right? Why do you be like, oh, what do you think about the problem of evil? Oh. Check my focus here real quick. In... Let's go!